Well, hello, my radio friends. Now, been some time since I posted a new video, but this evening I was a little bored and thought, ah, let's pull this uh, this particular set off the pile and, and give it a go, because I was quite pleased with it last time I played. And uh, I just thought I'd bring it to your attention. It is, as one could see, uh, nothing terribly, terribly attractive. It Essentially, two knobs and a couple audio jacks, but nothing, uh, nothing overly visually appealing. But I have to say, whoever assembled it within uh, did a very good job. It's actually a three-tube regenerative set, and uh, whoever built it did a did a fine job building it. And so to my surprise. It's actually a pretty good performer. In fact, allow me to get the cover closed here momentarily. It, uh, the, uh, in fact, the last time I powered this particular setup, to my surprise, I had picked up stations, oh my gosh, you know, keep in mind, I'm in Louisiana. And I was picking up stations in Chicago, Detroit, Memphis, Oklahoma City, Kansas City, Mississippi, Charlotte, North Carolina, Fort Wayne, Indiana, and of course, Texas. So it is a fun little DXer. Uh, and it, audio quality wise, it's to be expected, pretty much what one would expect for the time period. In, in fact, allow me to, uh, to power it up. Plenty of volume. So it uh, it is, if you're looking for a set to have superior audio quality, then I would suggest you look elsewhere. But if you're looking for a fun little early set to play with, then, you know, find yourself a little, little three-tube regen. I think you'll be very, very pleased. So uh, bottom line is don't judge a book by its cover. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you following along for those that are, and of course, as, as always, until next time.